the one that you do on Friday, and it's this question four. Um, in the past uh, semesters, I've um, you know opened it and then thought, hey, that's a kind of a tutorial for people to go through. So I don't. I don't think I should do it. That's what I thought, but I think it um, it poses more challenging than uh, I anticipated. And so, so let me just uh, demonstrate. So the question asks: uh, measure the period of a pendulum shown in this video. And there's actually I think four different versions of this. So this is a video one. So I guess if your homework version has a video one, then um, I will be giving you the answer now, uh, but you might have videos two, three, or four. Then you'll have to go through the same exercise to actually figure out the answer for yourself. So this is what it looks like. And I think the challenge is um, a lot of people try to measure the period of uh, one cycle. And it's uh, quite difficult because um, when you try to measure the period here, it's pretty close to about a, a second or so. So, and oops. <laughs> so it's quite difficult to, so, you know, let's say I started here and I tried to let it run for one period, one and then back, okay. And so that looks like about a second and I'm using a space bar as the quickest way I can stop it. And uh, there's a lot of inaccuracy there and it's uh, kind of challenging to measure a period that way. So what I wanted to do was demonstrate a way you can measure this more accurately. So, so let me do it this way. I think I can, um, yeah, so, uh, before I do that, let me for, uh, first to show you what the hint video is meant to do. So the hint video has kind of additional tools that's not available on your on the other video. So with this uh, hint, um, it does measure one single period, and it uh, does that with this special stopwatch. And all it's meant to do is all it it's just meant to demonstrate what a single period looks like. It doesn't really give you a way to measure it, um, except maybe a second kind of um, um, second tricky way. I'll demonstrate after the first more orthodox way. So this is how I imagined. Uh, someone could uh, measure the period here without any special tools and with the inaccuracies that are inherent in stopping and starting the video. So. So um, I, I guess I'll start from the beginning at zero second. So it starts at zero here. And when I run the simul run the video by pressing on space bar, it'll, um, yeah. And I'm going to go by this timer here because there was a slight bit of a pause before it started. And um, this will measure the simulation time. And uh, what I need to double check is that it first moves to right, okay. So it first moves to right, so when it goes to left and then comes back going to the right again, that's uh, one cycle. And th this is what I'm gonna do. This is the trick that I, I think you kind of need to know to measure the period here reasonably accurately, which is that uh, you don't want to try to count to the time for the single cycle. You want to measure multiple cycles all together, all in a row. And then um, at the end of that, uh, take the amount of time and divide it by the number of cycles you have counted. So as I run the video, I'll just count one through however many cycles there are. So let me start from here. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, okay. About 11 or so, let me just go back in the video. <laughs> ah, okay. Uh, did I stop it? No, I didn't. <laughs> um, okay, um, so about 11 is when I had 12.39 seconds, so. Let me pull out a calculator and I calculate 12.39 
divided by 11. And this will give you a much better accuracy than trying to measure the period of a single cycle. And um, so let me put this number in and see if <laughs> that works. Um, so hide the hint, hide the video. The, the, the 12.39 seconds divided by 11, I got 1.1, one uh, one, was it? One to six, so one three. Now um, I did put in a fair bit of tolerance. So so you know normally these questions the tolerance is one percent, but because it's a, easy to get this slightly off, I I think I gave it a ten percent tolerance, which means I should be able to enter something like this and should still give me yeah. So there's a quite a bit of tolerance there. So um, with the proper technique, you should be able to measure it uh, precisely enough. Oh, um, and I see in the chat, yeah, decreasing speed, that's a great idea. So I think that's one of the reasons I didn't want to demonstrate because th there's more than one way to measure here. I'm just showing you the one orthodox way, which is kind of the method I would use in a physical lab where I don't have ability to actually stop time. Now, this being a simulation actually has other possibilities which is, um, I know where you can easily, I made no attempt to hide where the simulation is. So you can actually go to the simulation. You can put in the exact same parameters and <laughs> enable certain options that I didn't enable in the video. So let me actually do that. Uh, that's the kind of trick that uh, I said I would demonstrate. So let me go to FAT. Uh, it's a pendulum simulation. I think it's the pet one that says pendulum lab. So let me go find that. Yeah, pendulum lab. And let me put in the exact same parameters that are in the video. And yeah, it's the in the lab tab. So let me go to the lab tab. And the parameters are uh, length of the pendulum is 0 0.3 meters. Oh, I guess it doesn't let me click into the thing, but I can do this. 0 0.3 meters, uh, one kilogram, 9.81 earth. Okay, I think that's all set. So it's the exact same parameter as the simul. Oh, uh, it's the exact same parameter as the, oh, oh, I think one thing to kind of watch out for is the amplitude of oscillation. So let me try to set that similar-ish. Um, okay, so that's the kind of exact the same simulation. And what I can now enable <laughs> is the period timer. So this can just uh, precisely measure the period, so. <laughs> and um, so, you know, there's more than one way to do this. So I don't want to constrain your creativity. <laughs> and so, so let, let me leave that, uh, leave it here. 